Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. And when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. So I've got a great Excel tip for you today, Excel as so what we're going to do is we are going to use one of our worksheet cells as a search bar. So we're going to type a value into cell C2 and we're going to highlight all of the corresponding values that we find in our data set that match. So I've got a sample data set here of names, sales invoices and sales amount. And I want to highlight any of the any of the records here that match what I type into cell C2. What we're going to do is we are going to search for green ink and what we want is all of the corresponding records to be highlighted. Okay, let's take a look at the search function and see what arguments it takes. So there's three arguments for the search function is find text and this is the text you want to find. The second function is within text. It is the text in which you want to search for the text find. And the third argument is the character number in within text counting from the left at which you want to start searching. Now that's an optional argument um, and if it's omitted one is used by default so it starts at the first cell that you're searching in. Alternatively you can start to type in Excel and the Excel will bring up the function and you can see the three and you can see the three arguments there. So we've got find text within text and start number. Start number remember is optional and it contains the square brackets which reminds you that it's optional. So let's go to the home tab, conditional formatting. We want to create a new rule and we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So let's hit the equal sign and hit search and type search. And the first argument for the search function is find text we want to find C2 and we want that to be absolute we don't want that cell reference to change hit comma we may move on to the second argument and this is where we're going to be looking for our text so that is going to start at cell E3 the third argument is optional and it's the starting position of the text to search. It defaults to one, so we can leave that blank. Close the parentheses. We want then to select our formatting. Let's select orange, hit OK, and hit OK again. So it's found the first one in our data set. Well, what we want to do is apply the conditional formatting to our full data set. So let's go back to our conditional formatting tab and let's go to manage rules. And here we can see the rule that we have set up and we can see it currently just applies to cell E3. What we can do is take the data selector and highlight our whole data set there, hit apply and OK. And there we have it's found every instance of greening. So let's just test it again with red limited. And let's just test it again. TJ Kill. Let's just and let's just enter something that's not in our data set. And nothing matches. Tip, that's it, guys. That's how to create or use 
one of your worksheet cells as a search bar. You use conditional formatting with a formula or a function, which is the search function, and that determines which cells you format. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you again for another Excel at Excel.com video.